Ah, oh, nothing like stepping outside, getting fresh breath of air. Especially now, 1,400 mile later, and here we have mountains right out our door. Been staying in the little town of Centennial here, town of 67. Oh, I tell you, you know, the views they have, it's a historic gold mine, but what they have here is a little piece of paradise. It can't be bought. This little community is closer than most families. And they all come together and help each other any way they can, even a stranger like us. It's getting exciting now. We're seeing snow on a daily basis, and it's damn well below freezing at nights. This little uh, historic town has really kept our hearts warm and offered and helped us any way they possibly can. Kids out here, they get a different perspective on life. Some things as simplistic or anything are more exciting than the video games at home. Just to watch big old rock, just to chuck it down a hill is, well, physics at work. The air out here is a little thinner. It takes away your breath, but all oh, the views get you first. This walk from the start's been about adaptive learning. What we've learned, well, you have to adapt. So our biggest project we tried to put together was a trailer. With the town's blessings, we were allowed to search anywhere and everywhere we possibly might find something to engineer ourselves a two-wheeled cherry cart. Been trying to come up with one since Panhandle, Nebraska, and it's just never quite worked out until now. Especially now with a full-time cameraman on board, a cart is going to be even more important. With a donation of a cart from a lady in Laramie, and a little help or anything with some welding from a local here, we put together something pretty amazing. Even the locals came out to check out this new contraption. Moses, he got a little excited about it. Well, not the same way I was. But like any adventure, the first steps, you know, are always going to be a little rocky until you get it down. Yeah, the rattle of the trailer got Moses excited, and I tell you what, there's nothing, nothing a little more scary than trying to see a donkey outrun a trailer that he's hooked to. It was all I could do to keep from going down or let go of, because I knew if I let go, boy, it is going to tear something up. Well, first of the first is always the worst, but you can learn. Whoa! Slowly but surely, every step we took, Moses became a little more comfortable. And that was good to see. And I knew it was going to take better part of the day. But it's one of those things that you really have to you know, make sure you got it down and packed because we've got our lives at stake here. Everybody's got to be safe because there's no point of doing this if you don't come back. It's a learning process when you're trying to accomplish something you never even attempted before. Well, it's going to change everything. How tight we can maneuver, what we're going to be able to get up and over, how we're going to be able to get down the side of the road, and well, it all depends on Moses just becoming comfortable with it, so it's just going to take time. Every step we took was in the right direction. I think Moses thought we was practicing for a race, and I think the next three miles are going to be our fastest ones we've ever put down. It's amazing what you can do when a town comes together. With combined knowledge, anything is possible. You not only open doors, but you tear down walls. Any mountain can be scaled with knowledge. Powered by Brunton. What are you waiting for? Get out there.